Now, listen, when you get to Class B's, you're giving up storage space. There's no way around that. But look how much storage you have in here. I like the hooks. The question is where the kids get to sleep. That's my in the question. Basement. Yeah, right? With the Chihuahua. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV. We have a brand new RV from Tiffin. This is for everybody, this super hot B, B plus market. It is the 2022 Tiffin Midas. This is a really cool mm -hmm. RV and a really cool floor plan. And you are not gonna believe what they've done to make this usable in more ways than one. So you can see this is a low profile unit, no slides. You're gonna be able to take this everywhere with you. You're not gonna need a toad for something like this. Now, what's really awesome about this is on the Ford Transit chassis. So you can get the 3.5 liter EcoBoost Ford motor, 10 speed automatic transmission. 25 feet, four inches in length. Again, very maneuverable. You look right up front, full body paint on this. You see they have the paint protection right up front. And you're also gonna see Tiffin, of course, they put that one piece fiberglass cap up front, seamless. You can see there's no seams in here. So it's gonna give you that extra storage you'll see when you go inside. Now, again, I'm about six foot tall. Now compared to those big motor homes, you can see how low the profile is on here. You're gonna have lane keep assist, all of the safety features that you would normally have on your, your Ford Transit, it's gonna come on here. Now look at over the tires here, much smaller tires. These are 205, 75, 16. Now you may say, well, we like the big tires, but you don't need it on here because this is such a small coach and those are so much cheaper to replace. You can go to like an auto zone and replace these, no problem. Now continuing down on the passenger side, you see uh, this is B, B plus, C. You're gonna have full access to the cab through the passenger door as well as the driver's side door. Here you go, the Tiffin Motorhome emblem roughing it smoothly. This is a 30 amp coach fiberglass door with the power step that comes out. Also a nice feature on here, it's gonna be they had the Bigfoot leveling system. So you're always gonna be level. Some coaches, they don't feature that. Gerard awning coming over really the whole campsite, frameless windows, and you can see the Tiffin 50 year anniversary. Like I said, full body paint. Now, we, listen, when you get the Class Bs, you're giving up storage space. There's no way around that, but you still get a little bit of storage on here. Let's go to bay number one. Like I said, a little bit of storage. It's baby storage. Baby storage. So you have a Xantrex 2000 watt inverter in here and they finish it out in like that bed liner. You know, you could fit a couple things. Maybe you have a little chihuahua. You could put the dog in. Hey. The dog food. You didn't let me oh, finish. Oh. I said the dog food. <laughs> okay. Bay number two. A little more storage now. Whereas on some competition, you would have, you know, fiberglass, kind of like the cheap doors. You do have aluminum slam latch doors on here. Bay number three, some more storage. Now, I don't know, I don't see any venting for forced heat in here. I'm not sure about that, but certainly uh, enough room that you can fit some items in there. Wheels tucked in, you have your hand coop tires on here. Now, here's a nice feature. Yeah, baby. Truma Aqua Go. We've talked about this many times on our videos. Endless hot water, it's a great thing. You have your docking light up front, more windows. Let's go down to bay number four. Here is your propane tank. Now you have a tiny little propane tank. This is not an all electric coach, but this will heat the coach. Now that is a, let me get this right, 12.2 gallon propane tank. This is kind of a uh, dummy bay here. There's nothing here. Before we show you the back, which is pretty cool, I just want to read some of the specs to you. Like I said, 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6, 310 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque, 10 speed automatic, all wheel drive. That's a nice thing to have. You also have a 210 amp hour alternator. Some of the overall specs comes with a TPMS, awesome, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, and again, all of the safety features you're gonna have on your Ford Transit you're gonna have on here. 25 feet, four inches in length, approximate height is 10 feet. That's awesome. Uh, approximate width, 90, inches interior height is uh, 78 inches fuel tank 31 gallons now as far as your holding tanks 30 on the fresh 28 on the black 23 on the gray finally the specs everyone wants to know your gross vehicle weight rating 11,000 pounds gross combined weight rating 15,000 pounds and you can't really tow much in here it's only 2,000 pounds of towing so let me get rid of that Smart paperwork car. it comes rear camera super nice now here, this is where it's pretty cool, right? You have your hitch, you want to tow a motorcycle, like maybe on a uh, kind of a motorcycle lift, or if you want to bring some bicycles with you, you can do that. Now check this out, a lot of storage. Sweet. 
That is pretty awesome. So we talked about the lack of storage in the Bs and B Plus, but look how much storage you have in here. I like the hooks. Right. You have hooks that are adjustable. You also have a power outlet in there. What I don't see is I don't see a light, which is a, yeah. a little bit strange. I don't see a light in here, but a, a lot of space. So it's a nice slam latch on there. LED tail lights, LED marker lights, of course. Here behind this is your gravity fill for your water. This will be uh, in a locking door. Let's go on to the next bay. Here's gonna be your 30 amp power. You're also gonna have your transfer switch, your surge guard transfer switch. Here is gonna be your sewer dump. Well, this actually, let's see here. That might be for a hose. Next bay, there's nothing there. I'm not quite sure why they made that a bay. <laughs> it says plumbing. All right, I'm sorry. So I stand corrected. That is gonna be for your hose. The one I just showed you here are your I dumps. You're gonna be dumping out of here. Whole house filtration, which is pretty cool for something like this. Outdoor shower. And then you have your black water flush and your city fill. Finally, another great feature that's on here. 4,000 watt Onan generator. Nice. Always a good thing. Fiberglass walls, as with all the Tiffins. Full body paint, like I said. And then here's gonna be the entry door for the driver's side. Super cool. Keys are in there. Keys are in there. Maybe we'll take it, take for, it a for a spin. Take it for a spin, So I am finished up on the outside. MJ's gonna take you on the inside. Join me inside. One step, all right. Little tight getting into, again, it's a B plus, so. But once you actually arrive in the cab, it's pretty roomy and your basic controls. This almost looks like your um, escape inside. Like, I know, right? Yeah, it's pretty, it does because I have a Ford Escape, it's very similar. Now, I'm not sure if that's for the rear view camera, Furion, or that's a GPS, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. yeah, being tall, it always makes these fun. All right, what's cool about this is you have two extra seats right here. If you have kids, look like this, you can put your device in there, keep the kids busy mm -hmm. during travel. Question is where the kids get to sleep. That's my in the question. Basement. Yeah, right, with the Chihuahua. Um, all right, so then you have netting over here to keep some items three-way, some LED lighting up above. You have all your controllers right when you come in. All Firefly system, I like that. Mm -hmm. and, you know, everything's touch screen, which is pretty yeah. awesome. Yes, all right, moving on down into let's the, switch it here the kitchen. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, Ooh, God. Don't wear a backpack. <laughs> all right, this, um, um, again, I, I would hope they would at least have two, but do you have, a, you know, induction one burner there you're very picky for a 25 foot no sly coach like, you want it all i know but like when i cook it's there's always more than one burner going <laughs> you know i guess yeah these are solid surface countertops you got a nice stainless steel sink here nice bowl stainless steel sprayer faucet that i like okay and then you have a microwave up above this is a convection oven as well nice and small you've got a bunch of drawers in here Oh, they're soft clothes. I like the colors, right? The soft, I mean the uh, light, light colors. Okay, a lot of room under there. Very nice. And then one up here, which I forgot. Okay. Tiffany always does a good job with the woodwork. They do. Always. Oh, that's, that's nice too. All right, moving on down. Then you have your pantry, which is quite large, right? Look at that. You're gonna fit a lot of stuff in here. Mm-hmm. Cool. There is Here's a tremendous your... amount of space for a non-sly coach. Yes. And you'll see in the bathroom, here's your AC unit and your fan right above. So the bathroom, you have a lot of space for this size of a unit, right? And the skylight's here, so you get some more height there. Pretty simple, but it's not a wet bed, so that's cool. Nice round bowl here. Porcelain toilet, pedal flush, you got your little window, and some places to keep towels or whatever you'd like. I like the wall paper. The drawer, the, the, everything, the cabinets close really nicely. All right, so then you have a nice large cabinet above your fridge. You got a Norcold RV fridge here. Again, that's a large refrigerator. So for, yeah, I mean, for the size. We, we did an Airstream premiere and we were in some of the B's. They were nice, but you didn't have the space you yeah, had in here. Yeah, this is definitely spread out. Now, this is what I was talking about outside, how you have like a bedroom and dining area in one. It's really a cool, design so you have two twin beds and then your table here so you can see a number of people here you got your tv right there lg tv and then just windows surrounding the whole room uh, cabinets up above both sides and over here okay, okay that's nice so you have plenty of windows once you get all these windows open you get some nice cross ventilation you have both sides have outlets 
and USBs. You got some reading lights here. You do have a tremendous amount of storage space. In yeah, here. and and here, you know, you could even add some hooks in there if you wanted or whatever. I mean, the, and then there's storage under the beds as well. So there's a, a multitude of places to to put stuff. Hashtag stuff. All right, so what do you think about that? Pretty cool little RV, I got to tell you. Yeah, again, super hot market. The B, mm -hmm. B plus, the, even like the, the class A, everything's getting smaller. People, they want smaller, so. But the designers are getting better at making them smaller, smarter. but making them seem bigger, so. Yeah. So in the comments below, let us know what you think about this. Is this something you'd be interested in? As far as the MSRP, we don't have a price. It's actually going to be debuting at the Tampa show. I'm sure a price will be announced a little bit later after the show so you want to go on to tiffin's website to keep track of it you should go on there anyway so in the comments below let us know what you think and for myself and mj we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road, road.